Hello and welcome to a video. In this, I'm gonna basically build a boat. Um, who knows how well that's gonna go. But then I'm gonna try and use command blocks to make it so it can actually move across the water. So sadly, this video is not going to consist of me just doing this and saying I did this. I'm gonna build like an actual boat. So yeah. I mean, to start out, I kind of need to build a boat, but not exactly sure how to do that. I'm not planning on making this super big, so at least I don't have to build like a giant boat. Now, I think this is kind of the shape of boats sometimes, although I'm not entirely sure how, much, how accurate this actually is. You know what, I'm just going to build the rest of this off-camera. So I'm pretty much done with building the boat, uh, it's not the best, but it's actually pretty decent. I made like a little interior area down here that I actually somewhat decorated. <laughs> and then there's a ladder to go up onto this like top area and stuff. So yeah, this is the boat that I'm gonna do things with. Uh, I think I am going to just, just to make sure that I don't accidentally break anything. I'm gonna just create like a clone of this boat over to the side, which will include everything except for the like one item frame inside of it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put it over here. And there we go, here's just a save, I guess, of the boat. Without the item frame, though. And the ladders are gone. Okay. I was worried that might happen. Uh, the way I designed it is so that the ladders would float fancily, but that just doesn't work, apparently. So, I guess I'll fix the backup as well, just in case I end up having to use it. So instead of doing fancy stuff to make the ladders float, I'm just gonna have to do that. But anyways, this is what I'm gonna be using for now at least. And it's actually not gonna, it shouldn't be too difficult to get it to move. Although the first thing I need to do is do a fancy armor stand summoning command. So I summoned an armor stand, and if I go into spectator mode, I can see it here. I have some stuff to make it invisible so that I won't be able to just see it, I guess. The first thing I need to do is make it basically clone the area around it and then move it up. So I'm just going to build the command blocks on this backup boat. So this part, I don't know the exact proportions of the boat, so I'm just gonna guess and then add a little bit on top of that. And button. Did that even work? Oh. Oh no. <sighs> so... Okay then, I think I forgot to have a bit of stuff there. Basically what I think I messed up is I forgot to tell it to do it at the armor stance position. 
because for some reason the way it works is if you say as it means it'll do it as if it was the entity but it won't do it at the location so uh, it means that I accidentally cloned a ton of stuff in the air over here instead of over there so yeah as you can see over here I say as but I actually want it to at oh yeah the water so I'm gonna need to make it so that it sort of deletes that afterwards so I'm gonna say fill yeah it clones at 50 blocks in the air so if I add 50 to this and if I add 50 to this that would be 80 and then I put air Um, so yeah, okay. I now have one command block that will teleport a boat up there, or clone it, not teleport, but yeah. And then a separate command that will delete the boat. Uh, but anyways, I think I need to wait for this giant block of water to dissolve. The next thing that I'm going to need to do is to probably clone what's up there back down here, which is actually going to go in between these two commands when I finish what I am doing. So for this, I'm going to, I guess, need to add 50 to here and set this one to 80 again and then remove it from here. But in the yeah, in the Z axis, I need to remove one. So, this is where it's possible I could just delete the entire thing. So I clone it up there, and then I clone it down. Did that do anything? I can't tell if it moved or not. Oh wait, I know how I can tell. If the armor stand is not in the front anywhere. Oh, I think it did move. The armor stand is one block behind the boat now. Now the next thing, which is probably kind of the final thing other than ordering it, is just teleport everything over one block. So, theoretically, what all I would have to do would be to click this button to clone it up, this button to clone it back down, this button to, what's it called, to remove the clone, and then this button to move everything over by one block. And then all I need to do is make it so that every once in a while it'll execute, it'll hit all four command blocks at once. Yeah, although it does need to remain in the order here, so I'm just going to test it out one more time to see if it actually works. Okay, so the water isn't on it anymore, so I'm going to click button 1, button 2, button 3, button 4. And I think it works, probably. It it's so small you can't I can't even really tell if the boat moved but I hope it did so now all I need to do is grab these four command blocks and relocate them so now I just need to set up basic redstone clock since I guess that's what I'm gonna be using oh I also am gonna make these chain command blocks in order to make them execute in the correct order. Does the- okay, no. Sadly the item frame got deleted. Probably, actually, that was probably in the first test before teleporting, so I'm just gonna add it back. Oh, cool, I accidentally used the wrong item frame and now the item frame's invisible, which isn't really actually that bad, it looks kinda cool. So now I'm just gonna hit this button. So 
so you know maybe I shouldn't have done it in a place where there's literally oh okay well the sales a bit cut off but I know I can fix this I believe that if I move this over to yeah negative X and since I gave a ton of room to have like extra space and stuff I should be able to just adjust it without having to mess with any commands I'm also going to build an island off to the side just like something small um, just to like be able to actually tell the boat is moving so I built this um, island I just tried to search tree in the <laughs> search thing why did I think that would work? Okay, so I'm just gonna place a few saplings on it to make it look slightly nicer considering the back half of it just doesn't exist. Um, we don't need to mention that though. Okay, so this should now work. So I click the button once more and the boat is moving. Okay, this is actually pretty cool. It's kind of kind of a slow boat to be honest you know normally you want your boat to be a bit faster than this but like <laughs> this actually works really well anyways uh yeah this was somehow a success some degree at least there's a lot of lighting errors every time it teleports but like you can't even see like the extra version Okay, well you can kind of see it. Wait, I forgot to move this. No. Okay, now it now it's good. You can like see the extra version up here, like the stuff breaking, but I mean this is pretty good. This is like a pretty convincing boat. This would be really cool for like some mini game or something that I might make. Except probably not, because I'm working on other stuff. But so if I just lower the delay on these the boat is significantly faster. The only reason I didn't do this to start out is because it is going to be much laggier, but even so, this worked out pretty well. And the fishing rod is still here! You can even rotate it. Like, everything down here just acts completely normal. Other than, um, the minor fact that every about every second it kicks me out of the stuff but like I can use it I can I can I can set my spawn point although I doubt that it would actually keep the spawn point yeah this is the real outro I guess the last one was fake because I continued the video after it <laughs> but this is the real one I actually enjoyed making this video a lot um, so I might make more command block based videos in the future where I just mess around with command blocks to try and make something cool. Yeah. Goodbye.